Hey, I'm Tesla, and in this tutorial for Unreal Engine 4, we're going to set up a light switch blueprint that can interact with multiple lights. Okay, so what we're going to do is create a light switch blueprint that will be able to turn on and off as many lights as it wants, and the lights will be able to be different types as well. So, for example, I've got a point light in my map here, but I've also got two spotlights, and we're going to be able to control all of these lights with just this one light switch. So, to begin, we're going to create a new blueprint class. It's going to be of actor type, and we're just going to call it light switch BP. Okay. Uh, we're going to hit this with a line trace. So the first thing what we want to do is add in a mesh that we can hit. So I'm just going to add in a cube. Next, we're going to come into the event graph, and we're going to say uh, we're going to create a custom event, and we're going to call this toggle lights. Okay. So now we need to be able to uh, have a reference to all the lights that we choose in the map. So to do this, we're going to create a new variable. We're just going to call this lights. We're going to drop down the variable type and change it to light. Yep, and we're not using light component or a point light or a spotlight. We're using the parent class, which will be light. Okay. So we're going to do that. We're also going to change it to an array so we can have multiple types and hit compile. Okay, so with our lights, we also want to expose it so we can see it in the uh, in the viewport in the editor. I'm going to hit compile again and then what we're going to do is just hold left control, drag this out and then drag this out and use a for each loop on this. So for every light we're going to say we're going to return the element type there and say toggle visibility. So this is how we toggle all the lights here. That's all we need to do. We can just connect this up like that, hit compile and that's all we need to do. We can close that and if we drag in our light switch blueprint uh, hit the details panel. You can see that we have our lights here. Again, if you have, if if you don't see that here, just make sure that you've exposed your lights variable type there. And I've got three lights in there, so I'm going to hit the plus three times, and I can use this drop tool here and choose my lights. Okay, and finally, we just need to come into the first person character blueprint and set up a line trace system. So I've done this in a few tutorials. I'm just going to press F and do a line trace by channel. We need the start location, it's going to be our player's camera's world location and then the end point is going to be from the forward vector of the camera. We're going to multiply it by a float. This is our interaction distance. I'm going to set this to 400 and then we're just going to add these two vectors back together for the endpoint. Okay, we can connect that up like that. Always use a branch after we do a line trace to see if we have or if we haven't hit something. And then from the out hit, we'll just drag this out, break hit result. And then from the hit actor that returns from the line trace, we're going to say we're going to cast to the light switch blueprint and see if it's this that's hit. And if it is, we can say toggle our lights. Okay and then we can connect that there. So it should just look like that. Okay, so we can close this blueprint and we can jump into the game, walk up to our light switch blueprint and interact with it. I'm just gonna press F and then I can turn on and off all of those lights that we have selected in this details panel. Okay, so that's it for this tutorial. Thank you for checking it out. If you'd like me to work on your project or if you're interested in private tutoring, please feel free to contact me via my website. 